welcome back to 30 Days of Lightroom. In this video, we're gonna be talking all about our transform panel here on the right-hand side of our interface. We are here in Adobe Lightroom Classic, and this transform tool can really come in handy when you have some distortion in your image. This portrait, for example, was taken in Denver with a 24 millimeter lens. And if you shoot with wide angle lenses, you'll know that you can add some distortion to your image. You can see this building here on the left as we go away from the center of the image. It kind of leans to the left. And same thing with this building on the right. As we go away from the center of the image, it leans to the right. And if we use our crop tool and hit R on the keyboard, we can bring up this grid and it's really emphasized now the distortion in this image. You have these straight vertical and horizontal lines and you can see how distorted these buildings are. So we can fix that with the transform tool. There are a couple different ways you can use the transform tool. So I have the option of doing some automatic transformations or some manual transformations. And you can see here all of the manual, just go by these sliders and you slide your image to edit how you need to. This is pretty powerful. There's a lot you can do with your image. The one thing you do have to be careful about, as you can see here, why I wanted to use this image is because I have a model and I have to be very careful with everything I do to make sure that I'm not doing anything crazy to my model. For example, aspect, will squash or stretch my model, and that does not look good. So always be aware of your model, where your model is in your image. It's much easier to use the transform tool when your model is in the dead center of your image. So I can scale my image, I can move it to the left, I can move it to the right, and if I wanna reset any of these sliders, I can double click them individually, or I can double click the word transform to reset all of them. Now you'll notice there is a little button down here called Constrain Crop. That really comes in handy if we start doing some massive edits here to our transformation, really transform our image. You can see these white areas that start popping up. Clicking Constrain Crop will automatically crop in your photo so that you're not seeing those white marks. And now I can do as much editing as I need to and you'll see my image is automatically cropped. So again, if we go too far, you'll start to see we kind of break our image here. We've lost the head of our model, not great. So I'm gonna hit Command Z on the keyboard, undo all of these edits. We can also go ahead and double click on our sliders. So another way is to try some of these automatic tools. We can automatically level our image. That's not working too well. We don't really have a great horizon line for Lightroom to see and level this automatically. I'm gonna shut that off. We can also hit auto and let Lightroom kind of guess. It's doing a pretty good job here. This line looks pretty vertical. These lines look pretty vertical. Or I can go in, click this little grid, and draw in my own line. So I'm gonna draw in a line, click and drag. I'll have that line follow that shadow. And I will draw in another line right here. Click and just kind of drag, line it up. That actually looks really good. I'm happy this is very straight. This building is very straight. And we have some pavement lines down here where I can draw in a horizontal line to straighten out our horizon. That looks about right. There we go, that looks great. Actually, I'm really happy with the way that turned out. We have a nice straight horizon. We have nice straight architectural vertical lines here. That looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna hit return on the keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead, hit return again, and that looks great. I'm going to close our transform menu, and I'm really happy with the way that turned out. It's a lot of experimentation in this transform menu. Give some of these auto options a try. You can always try and manually draw on a grid, and then make some manual tweaks here with these sliders. But I really recommend giving the transform tool a try. And as I always say, subtlety is key. You can really go overboard with this and you can really break your image or you can make subtle edits and no one should even know that you've made edits to your image. And that is the transform tool or the transform panel in Lightroom Classic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe for all of my tutorials. And until next time, get out and go shoot.